What's up guys, Optic Swordsman here, and I'm bringing you my first Black Ops 2 video. Now, it's it's the game's been out a week, and this is my first video. As you can see, I did not rush a video out. I did not want to be too quick to post up my silly knee-jerk reactions or responses, either positive or negative, like uh, most people in the YouTube commentating scene are prone to do. I wanted to let it sink in get quite a few hours of game time under my belt and then come out with a commentary to let you guys know what exactly I think. Uh, this is just going to be a general thoughts and opinions video and as well as we'll map out some of the plans I have for this game. I'm going to start with the fact that I really enjoy this game. I purchased it for Xbox. Uh, I, I just have more fun playing FPS on the Xbox version than I do uh, PC. I, I just like FPS on there. It's just me, my, my personal taste, you know. Plus, let's face it, Call of Duty does not have the best track record with uh, their support for their PC platform. It's usually the redheaded stepchild in the room, so I'm definitely feeling quite satisfied with my decision on what platform I went with. Uh, several of the D crew members have, have picked up the game as well for Xbox. That would be, of course, Theo and Mr. Stoneface. Uh, we've also had Jay Kaiser play it. Uh, he did not buy it yet. He did not play it on his Xbox, or at least his account, but Jay Kaiser has tried it, and he doesn't think it's horrible. He's continuing to wait for our reviews and our opinions, and you might very well see, uh, you know, uh, D Crew Jay Kaiser joining the group. We also have Ampact. He's been kicking some ass with us when he has time. Been having a lot of fun. This game, of course, is myself and Lazy Boy Marksman, longtime buddy. He's like a brother, man. I love that dude. We're playing some domination here on Carrier, and this map is not—it's not enjoyed by many people, or like not everyone at least. I do enjoy this map. I just don't like the alpha spawn when playing domination. The alpha spawn, as you can see on the other side there, it just. It's prone to more of a spawn trap. It's prone to poor lines of sight compared to the Charlie spawn. So overall, I like the maps. The maps do have a smaller size to them when it comes to being uh, SMG and shotgun friendly. The shotguns are another topic that we could save for a later date. But you know, like it's just it's just uh, a lot of people have had the thoughts that the SMGs are a little overpowered. And frankly, I don't think that's necessarily the case. I don't think that's really true. I think that I think they are fine. It is the fact that the maps lend themselves to being more SMG friendly than they are assault rifle friendly. And for me, for my money, I'm fine with that. I like to run around like an idiot most of the time. I, I like that sort of thing with a shotgun or an MP5. Rest in peace, MP5. That is not uh, in this game. I miss it terribly so. But I am finding the Vector and the chai -Com and the MP7 to be suitable replacements. So, what I think is, like, I'm having trouble really trying to put in the words just what it, like, the, the gun balance feels fine to me. And I, and I know that for my, for my own experience in that I go to Call of Duty Elite or Elite.CallofDuty.com and, and I look through my stats, and it's a really useful website actually. Uh, fairly similar in its functionality to uh, Battlefield's, uh, what's it called? Um, Battlelog, there we go. And I, I take a look at what I've been killed by. And what I've been killed by, like the top four things, are two assault rifles and two SMGs. So that, that to me tells me there's a reasonable balance. That to me tells me like nothing stands out super high. And it, it just it just seems good. Like whenever larger maps come out, uh, you'll see more assault rifle usage. I think, and even now, I think some of the assault rifles people just assume aren't good. I think they start off kind of weaker. Uh, I, I personally don't like the MTAR. I like the Type 25, but not everybody does. But the last couple of assault rifles are actually really quite good. The AM94. Then you have another semi-auto weapon that's even better than the foul. And then you have another a four-round burst weapon that is actually exceptionally good at having its very long one-burst range type of kill kill range that is really quite powerful. So I think the more people experiment with the higher-end assault rifles, the more they'll they'll enjoy them. 
But so far, the weapon balance to me is pretty damn good. Uh, in terms of other things, I like the changes that they brought. I like the domination now has uh, rounds to it. You continue the same score, but you swap spawns halfway through. I think that can really go a long way to uh, just just getting away from the fact that one side of the map could have a clear advantage. Like I, I do believe this one does. I think now that we just spawned here at Alpha Site, I think we have the disadvantage. And in uh, later games, uh, maybe even in this one. I usually try to flip the spawn so we take Charlie and give them back Alpha because I just I just seems like the other end of the map is much more suited to doing well on. But you know, I mean, it just it seems very good so far. I've enjoyed it immensely. I like the change the pick ten system, where you get to basically equip your class however the hell you want this time. You can have three attachments on your primary if you want. Uh, you can have six perks if you really wanted. If you don't want a sidearm, you think they're stupid, or you always end up failing with them like I have in the past, you can just not even bring one. You can instead opt to spend it on getting an extra perk or getting a third attachment. If you wanted to run around with no weapons whatsoever, just, just perked out the ass, lots of equipment, and try to knife, you can do that. The freedom in the class design is very, very excellent. Uh, the pick 10 has been a very, very fresh breath of, of air to the Call of Duty uh, community, and that alone has been worth it. It's the freedom to make whatever class I want. The fact that you can have your camos on silly things like your combat knife, your crossbow, your riot shield, your, your small, your stinger, or whatever it's called in this game, that that is just a, a, just a nice little trivial piece of cosmetic fun. I mean, there's nothing like super. Oh my god, you can camouflage your knife. That is amazing. No, it's not necessarily that big of a deal, but it is fun. I mean, I like running around with my blue tiger combat knife. You know, I, I worked hard to get all those stabs. It's just it's just been a very enjoyable time. I think the maps are good. I think the the gun balance is pretty damn good. I'm contemplating buying the $50 season pass for all the DLC to uh, save some money in the long run since so far I expect to be playing this game for a reasonable amount of time. I'm hoping to go all the way to 10th Prestige. And I'm excited for an FPS again. It's been, uh, it's been a while since I've been happy playing one. Uh, Planet Side 2 didn't quite go the way I'd hoped, though I might try that out once it launches on the 20th to see if anything's changed since my experiences in the beta. But what you can expect from this game is I'm going to return to doing uh, weapon reviews, briefing room type stuff. Give you guys some tips and some insight onto how the actual stats break down and work in this game and what, what weapons are truly what with what stats and everything. Like the, the, ex, the, the, the gun I'm using now probably isn't the best sniper rifle. The ballista probably isn't the best sniper rifle. Uh, there's one that is much more powerful and uh, that most people are ignoring because uh, they're not used to that type of sniper rifle, but we can get into that later. We've got lots of shotguns to break down, SMGs, assault rifles, even the light machine guns are good. Also hoping to uh, maybe see about putting together a capture the flag team. I got some of the D crew guys interested in it. We had some fun the other night when I tried to herd them into proper roles with two flag runners, two midfielders, and two defenders. We, we had some really good games going from that. I'll probably share with you possibly some flag running route videos coming up alongside of the weapon breakdowns. Possibly some domination get off my flag series might return to help show you guys how to defend the crucial flags that are found in uh, Black Ops 2. And even maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe some zombie stuff. I'd like to do some zombies. I've never really been too big into zombies. I, I've wanted to. I've been curious. Like, I've watched the videos by, like, Spider Bite, and I've always been amazed by how awesome that shit is and how in-depth it really is. And it's just like, I want to do that, but I just don't know how. And I, I, just, I just never really put much time into learning it and setting it all up. So I'm hoping to do that this time. And as of right now, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good uh, six, seven, eight months of playing this game that I'm really looking forward to. I'm hopefully going to stream some for you guys and have a lot of fun with some open lobbies. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be back next time. i got lots of cool stuff I want to share with you from uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Take care, guys.